Hi everybody and welcome to yet another Friday's tutorial. And today I wanted to draw a fountain with you. Uh, what you can see here is my reference picture. You can find that back on my Patreon page of course. And I've chosen some pastel pencil colors that are, well, in the neighborhood of the colors that are in my reference picture. And I also will be using uh, a little bit of uh, the bomb pastels and you, oh well you can see them here bomb pastel and I'm drawing on the pastel paper from Claire Fontaine it's called pastel mud but what I do first is um, well I draw in a uh, an edge so that should this drawing come out to be uh, very nice then you always have a little edge to place your passport to on should you want to frame it now first my main concern is of course uh, the composition and I am drawing here the perspective lines of the wall that is in front of us and as you can see I'm not going to use the complete picture here just the part where the fountain is and the fountain on the front so actually there are two fountains going on here this is uh, the front reservoir as you can see here and there's a little stream of water coming down from that and then just behind that wall there is that big huge fountain which is of course my uh, main uh, object and then you can see the buildings that are just behind that mount uh, behind that fountain but I'm going to uh, shift them over to the left because I think they are not uh, very uh, useful there just behind my fountain so I'm simply shifting them to the left and as we are artists we have that freedom of course now here you can see the perspective lines going on and I am choosing a frog's perspective so I'm very low to the ground very low and I cannot see upon the water that is behind the wall then it is a very important to draw an imaginary plump line that's going straight down and uh, beside that plump line I can now build up the actual fountain itself now that big big fountain um, contains of two reservoirs uh, it's a very classical kind of fountain and I love them uh, the top reservoir is a little bit smaller and then the second reservoir is bigger and in that way uh, well you get some kind of a waterfall going on and well the rest is all um, is extras so you can do whatever you want with the rest but that fountain and that wall and that front fountain that is my main concern now this tutorial is uh, and the complete drawing took me two hours and a real-time version, of course, you can find on my Patreon page, where I draw and talk live. Um, well, I'm drawing this magnificent ma fountain, and well, maybe it's something for you. Then just go visit my Patreon page, and I will meet you there. You can also find the reference pictures and the material choice. Now, for this complete setup, I'm using a, well, it's a light gray pastel pencil. And what else do we have going on? Well, there's a front, of course, and you can see it here. Maybe this is a pillar where a lantern is uh, built upon, but I'm not completely drawing that in. Um, we have streams of water also going on we have a stream of water um, 
all the way in the front, but also streams of water going towards the fountain and going downwards. Now the first thing I want to do is to bring in a little bit of Bomb Pistol pigments because this is a night scene. So the light from the city is uh, kind of twirling towards uh, the sky. And um, I also use a little bit of light blue pigments for the waterfall itself. And well, you can imagine um, the fountain itself is all uh, lighted up with spotlights coming from the water and spotlights that are um, on the water streams themselves. So what I try to do is I try to draw in the light. Now here I'm using a white pump pastel, uh, a white pastel pencil, because there is partially uh, some uh, diffuse lights going on, partially you can look through the water, and partially there are uh, huge uh, firm streams that you cannot look through. So that's what I am trying to grasp here. I want to grasp the action of the water. Um, well, there's movement going on. There are lights in the water that are hitting on that water. Um, spotlights are bringing colors into that water. And you can partially see through the water and see the background, like um, maybe some trees that are on the other side of that big reservoir. So I'm not trying to copy my um, reference picture, not at all. I'm just using the reference picture and I've taken it away um, as inspiration. But once I'm into that drawing, I want to, um, well, let my mind do the thing. And I'm trying to get a, a feel of transparency, of... Um, well, the feel like uh, Van Gogh puts in his drawings and in his paintings. He wants to draw the light and he is not that concerned about it being all perfect. Now this is my Pan Pastel knife and it has a little sponge on it. And I'm simply pushing that light upwards towards sky. Now what we did see in the reference picture are some trees going on on the sides. So I thought well I can use that. So I'm here I'm tapping in some light yellow and um, I am used the natural charcoal. You can see it here to bring in a little bit of shadows that are in the leaves of those trees. And you can decide at some point that you want to leave out things or that you want to put them in anyways. As an artist you are completely free to make those choices. Now, the buildings that are way in the back uh, kind of got blurred away by my Pan Pastel knife. So I simply draw them back in. I'm using a very light blue Pan uh, Pastel pencil and I simply draw it back in. These buildings are lighted up 
by spotlights again. So also here I want to draw in the light that is hitting the buildings in a nightly scene. And it does something for my drawing. So yes, I want to put in that building. But I've shifted the building to the left. Then of course we have uh, the front area and that is a um, well, nicely built wall with some ornaments and of course there is that fountain reservoir all the way in the front. I do need that for my drawing because I think it's a very magnificent to, to see the streams of water going towards the fountain then the water falling down below from the fountain into the reservoir and then coming towards us in the small rev reservoir in the front there's also a pavement and this is all concrete I'm imagining so I'm trying to draw in that concrete feel and uh, that little bit of light that is casted upon um, the edge of the water reservoir and just a little bit but I do not want to put in too much detail because I still want all the attention to go to the fountain so I partially uh, light up the pavement and the concrete wall and the con concrete edge of that fountain and I make that pillar that is way up on the front quite dark and in that way I get some perspective going on and I want it to be a frog's perspective so that is why I exaggerated the lines of that concrete wall and bent it so it's higher on the left side and a bit lower on the right side so now I have a uh, well some uh, active perspective going on in a frog's perspective and here you can see underneath that fountain and at this later stage you can put in uh, some little bit of detail here and there and pay some more attention to those uh, powerful streams of water uh, that are coming from the side and go towards that fountain itself then there is the part that the spotlights are beaming from the water to the top so yes I can put in a little bit of color into those trees on the sides I can also now put in a little bit of extra color into the fountain itself here I'm adding a little bit of blue to express that this is very clear water very shiny um, and it brings me a little bit of that vibrance and transparency that I want to draw the fountain in the front I keep a little bit blurry so that all the attention still goes towards that big fountain that is all in the spotlights there that's my main um, object of interest but this is so much fun to do and maybe if you think it's a bit what difficult then you can first start with a charcoal setup before putting in all those colors 
but still it is a very nice study indeed and well let me remind you if you want to see the full tutorial please check out my patreon page but for now I would say thank you for watching and of course I will see you again next Friday.